Today I'm going to knock out lesson 3 LED from the Elego Omega 2560 tutorial. For this lesson we'll be needing our 5mm red LED, the breadboard, the Omega 2560, 3 resistors rated at 220 ohms, 1000 ohms, and 10,000 ohms, and a couple of handy dandy M to M wires. Let's take a look at the lesson plan before we jump in. To quickly go over the breadboard, there's two power rails on each end, blue is negative, red is positive. A quick tip, the negative terminal is usually referred to as ground. Now the holes in the center are all interconnected vertically. There is the cutoff point in the middle which separates that vertical power grid. If you have no clue how to use a breadboard, I would recommend watching a quick video before continuing on. The 5mm LED which we will be using has two ends. The longer end is positive and the shorter end is negative. So when we insert this into our circuit, we want to connect the negative to ground and the positive to the wire that will be connected to power. The lesson notes also talk about how the LED will need to be used with a resistor to limit the amount of current flowing through it or it'll burn out. The lesson plan also touches on the basics around resistors. Resistors resist the flow of electricity. The higher the value of the resistor, the more it resists and less electrical current will flow through. We use resistors in this project to control how bright the LED shines. The tutorial also goes over how to tell the value of each resistor with the colored stripes that are on them. This neat diagram may as well be the holy grail, so take a picture with your smartphone just in case you're in a predicament. It saved me a couple of times already. Now, for the wiring diagram itself, the red M to M wire connects from the 5 volt connector on the Mega 2560 to the board's positive voltage rail. And the black M to M wire connects from the ground connector on the Mega 2560 to the board's negative voltage rail right over here. It then shows the 5 millimeter LED connected to the same rail as ground. So these guys right here. And it's also on the same rail as the resistor too, which is directly connected to the positive rail. The USB connector on the Elego will provide up to five volts, which is what we will use to provide power to the LED and resistor.